Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play Solitaire Origins for the PSP. My name is Fathers Burr, this is your story gaming channel and today my friends I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here today. No, no, no. I don't know what it is about dolls that freak me out so much. But they do. They really really do and I I, I um I, 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 if I could just skip this part of the game, I, I would, because I don't want to mess with demon dolls. Uh, maybe it's, maybe it was Resident Evil 8 that terrified me to death so much. I'm not really sure, but something about dolls just freaked me out. And now we're here in the other Silent Hill, uh, which is great because I'm already freaked out enough. And now I'm here in this place, which freaks me out probably even even more. Ugh. All right, I got my pistol out because I'm not dealing with these dolls. Oh my God, they are, oh my Jesus. You gotta be kidding me. There's like two of them. There's three of them. What the heck? And they're fast! Can you, uh... Can you aim at the other one, please? That thing's walking towards me, too! Will you stop grabbing me? Oh, and now the other one's gonna catch up. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here, and uh, I, I really don't know what to do about it. Why can't I shoot them? I can't shoot them. The game won't let me shoot them. Uh, um, I need a, I need, I need a, a physical weapon. Um, give me a physical weapon. Uh, meat cleaver. Sure. Uh, let's use the meat cleaver. Are they dead? Are they dead? Oh, dear lord. I really, really don't want to be here right now. Uh... Oh. Breathe, plotless bird. Hope you all having a wonderful day today. Hopefully you're having a much better day than I am at the moment. Oh man. What do we got here? More good ammo and a balcony corridor key. Nothing useful here, the door is jammed shut. Something's blocking it. Blocking that too. Blocking that as well. Alright. I really hope these things didn't reanimate or something. Uh, okay, so this way looks to be a dead end. So I need to check the backstage door next. Something's blocking that. Curtain control room. And now what looks like a dead end. What the Okay, these guys I can I can handle these guys. They're 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 very scary. But they're a lot better than dolls. Shoot. That thing has a homing like projectory. Do you see that thing? It, it like I like know exactly where I was going and zoomed in. Why can't I kill these things? Thank you. These weapons don't last very long. Um, uh, I don't want a baton. I'll use a wrench. It's 
It's one of the spitters. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Why can't you kill it? Why can't I kill these things? Like when they're on the ground, like I didn't... There we go. Seems like you can't kill them when they fall down. They have to be below a certain HP threshold. Did we come from this door? No, we did not. Okay, that door is locked. Alright, that's the stairs. Really should go back to the current control room. There's a good chance the door may be locked or jammed, which would be perfectly okay with me because that means that uh, we need to go up the stairs because if we can go this way, then that means there's a, you know, another way we could have gone. Uh, it's this one up here. Okay, like I said, that's a good thing because we know that there's only one way to proceed and it's through here. This door over here. Where am I going? I don't know. Uh, uh, I am... I am very, very confused right now. But that's partly because this place is incredibly freaking me out. So, yeah, give me some grace here. The double doors lead to the uh, staircase. What's with the trees overgrowing this place, too? It's like this place is being eaten up by the world. Oh, dear lord. Another one! Oh, will you get over me! Alright, now hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Why aren't you. you see what I mean? I can't seem to hit it. Uh, all the time. It's very frustrating. Okay, that didn't last long. <laughs> we'll use the screwdriver here because there only seems to be like one of them. Poke at it. Uh, it's so annoying how I can't. There we go. Oh, come on! Wait, it's dead. Okay, we seem to have gotten it. And at the same time, it stood up, which was really, really weird. What the heck is this? On either side of the door are two deep square holes set into the doors of black retreats. I am a child torn by twin desires. I stand before a door. My right hand calls to the left, to the light. My left hand ushers in darkness. All right, so I'm pretty sure we got something. Sun totem. So we need to use the sun totem here. And now we gotta find the other... Okay, so this is... Well, it looks like we're going back to the other world. By the way, what is my life like? It's actually not bad. Apparently when those guys grab you... Yeah, they don't really do damage if you can fight them off. So as terrifying as they are, they're, they're not the worst enemies in the world. Although they are really terrifying. Is that a... Yeah, there was ammo right there. Now, we did get a, um, an item, right? Uh, items. We got a balcony key. So, we need to go to the balcony next. This way. This way. Uh, we just completed a uh, Legend of Lagaya on the channel, by the way. And our next RPG is going to be the sequel to Shadowheart's Covenant. And I bring that up because if you like RPGs and you like dark atmospheres, uh, Shadowheart's is a really good dark fantasy type RPG. And, and I think it is a game that uh, you would enjoy. So, just throwing out those recommendations on cool stuff coming to the channel. 
so I ran forward, but the camera changed, so I ran backward. I was pressing X to like make sure there was nothing on the counter. See, yeah, camera just mm, is. Mm. Okay, where is the balcony? Uh, balcony, balcony, balcony. It's top floor, so we gotta go all the way back. Yeah, we literally have to go all the way back. Nope, 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 not dealing with that. Nope, not, not dealing with that. Oh, hello. There's a wood right there. Safety turn here. Safety turn is blocking the stage. Oh my goodness! Get off me! I really don't like how this game like spawns enemies in, um, uh, spawns enemies in that weren't there before. That that is just it's terrifying because when you backtrack. You don't necessarily know if the place you're backtracking to is safe or not. Because the bottom line is they could always throw an enemy at you and uh, really, really mess with you. Which is something that they seem to be quite good at. Alright, let's uh, head up here. Be on guard. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. This thing just kicked me. And of course, the thing breaks. Uh, let's see. Could use the uh, the baton. I'm trying to see my best weapons for later. Um, I'm about to die, aren't I? No, not about to die, but I am kind of hurt. All right, let's beat this demonic doll. Kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Ah. Things break way too easily in this game. Can I just say that? I think I've said it before, but it's kind of annoying. Alright. Doll is gone. And I believe this is the balcony. I don't know why I fought this thing when I could have just gone this way. This is what happens when you get afraid. When you get afraid, you do things that you're not necessarily thinking about. You just end up doing stuff. Lighting box. Got a first aid kit. There's also a giant notebook on the wall here, which I can't seem to interact with. 125 light bulb. 750 light bulb. 250 light bulb. 500 light bulb. Is this going to be a puzzle? Peter. As expected, the spotlights are as screwy as the rest of this place. Finally, I got them working. My, tr my trusty volt meter saved the day again. Remember, you need all the lights working, otherwise the circuit blows. Throwing the circuit breaker gets old fast. Here are my notes. B has to be half the large of... Oh, dear lord. Alright, um, B is equal to half of D. A plus B must be less than C. D must be less than A. Break a leg, Eric. All right. So where do we put the the wattage is in? Okay, so we have a one twenty five. 750. Should probably write this down. 125, 250, 500, and 750. So if B is one half of D, that means D cannot equal 750 and also cannot equal 125. 
So D has to equal 250 or 500. Because by the math, when you say one half of something, uh, you ha it's got to be half. So if D is 250, hold on, I need to write this out. If D is equal to 250, then B is equal to 125. If D is equal to 500, then B is equal to 250. However, it says D must be less than A. And A plus B must be less than C, which means um, A plus B must be less than C. So. And what I'm guessing is D has to be 500, B has to be 250, and then C has to be the big one, 725, and that would make A 125. A plus B is 125 plus 250, which is less than 725. D has to be less than A. D is 500. Okay, that can't be it then. Um, that can't be it. Um, D, therefore, could be 250, which means B is 125. If that's true, A is going to be greater. So A could be 500, and C could be 725. A plus B would be 500 plus 125, which is 625. D is 250. Half of 250 is 125, so that would work. And then D is 250, which is less than A, which is 500. Okay, I, I think that's it. So A is 500, B is 125, C is 725, and D is 250. Now the question is, where do we do this at? Um, do we do it in curtain control? Uh, I'm not really sure where the lights go. I mean, the lights can't go here, right? This is the lighting control room. The lights have to go on some sort of stage area. So if I look at the map, the catwalk, they gotta go on the catwalks. That was a great feeling. Let's go on the catwalk in a haunted theater. I'm sorry, I got out of there as soon as I heard something creeping at me. Um, we could go down this way. Actually, that's not a bad idea at all, because this way just opens the door for us, and... You see, this way opens the door for us. Die, you evil thing! Again, I... There we go. Could actually stab him that time. What is this? Ah, it's a moon totem. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. I wasn't expecting to find that down here. All right, well, we know where the moon totem goes, but there's still more work to be done here. Now, there's a good chance, however, the game is going to say... Hello, hell drink. There's a good chance the game is going to say that one of these doors is locked, and I'm going to have to go use the moon totem to get the key to unlock the door... So that way I can continue exploring. But it's worth a sh shot. Told you. Locked from the other side. Oh, uh, what is everything in this game? That's be complicated. Yeah, when you go that way. See, when you go that way, um, there's a... Uh, there's probably another mirror room. To uh, take us back into this world. At least I'm understanding how this game works. You know what I mean? This, this game is logical in the way it presents its maps and everything. Which is good because 
you know, in the last area, the, uh, the asylum area, I was completely confused about what was going on. Okay, once again, I know the, I know the screen looks horrible when you move like this, but leaving the lights off is a really, really good thing to do. All right, let me go ahead and save. And then, um, well, we're, we need to find a mirror room. Men's dressing room. Uh, I gotta go back out there with this thing. I think for the lights off, it shouldn't be able to see me. Hopefully it should be able to see me. I was waiting for enemies in this game that react by your, your footfalls. And it basically makes it so that no matter what I do, I'm gonna be hunted. Or maybe like dogs that can smell you. Man, it's even harder to see in the, uh, in, in this area. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm sorry about that, you guys. The, the, the sound that thing makes when it lurches at you is... It's just petrifying. All right, um. Um, there's like 15 of them in here. Why are there so many of these things in here? Why? And why is this door not opening? Why did that door not open? I, I did the puzzle, right? It said no need to take this with me as well. Great, as soon as I use a weapon, it breaks. Uh, time to throw some bottles. Many of them. There is way too many of them. It's just too many of these things. I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die! Oh. Yep, yep, I'm using my gun. Use the first aid kit because we're in the danger zone. Please kill one of these guys. Why can't I kill these things? It's so frustrating how they fall down and you can't kill them and they just keep getting back up. Finally got one. I think the other one's dead too. things I hate these things all right now I can use the door 
Maybe I could use it before, but I was hitting X and it wouldn't open. Trust me, I was hitting X because I wanted to get out of that room as fast as humanly possible. Okay, what just happened to the physics in this game? I hear my radio going off. I can get this thing from behind. Finish it, finish it, finish it! Why will you not attack it? Oh, and of course now I'm getting bodied. Are you kidding me? I, I swung at it, and as I was swinging at it because the weapon broke, it caused me to enter the door. Oh, I hate these weapon breaking thing. I swear, this thing's not gonna kill me. This thing's not gonna kill me. This thing's going to kill me. Um, yeah, this thing's going to definitely kill me. How much life does this thing have? And again, why can't I stop it? Why, why, why will you not let me stop it, game? Screw it, I'm using my katana. Favorite weapon in Silent Hill. All right, good old katana. Although now it's like broke. Uh, something's blocking it. Something's blocking it. Okay. Well, we know we need to go on the catwalk on the other side, right? There's a costume sword right here. Nothing I can use. Nothing useful here. And a mirror. Okay, well, we found our mirror. Kitchen knife. Oh, hello. Is that a giant rifle? Hey, we got a hunting rifle, my friends. Yeah, we're being chased. Where is the mirror room? Where is. Uh, I missed the door. Darn it, I missed the orchestra. Oh, no. And of course, it's barred. But we got out of there. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. All right, we made it. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh. Got another katana, sweet. Now I love my katanas. So this is what happened to Tony. I dreamt about him more and more, the butcher. He looks just like that monster, the executioner. Now I've seen him when I'm awake. He's at my motel. It's him. I swear it. Is that the not slap? What the heck was that? What was that noise? But is the butcher the um uh the uh, not pyramid head creature? The thing I'm calling not pyramid head. Oh my Jesus. Of course, of course I had my light on, so I'm a stupid idiot. Weapon breaks. Uh, we'll use the poker. Sharp poker. Really wish I could critic tie these things. Great, and of course I use the door, which means now that thing may still be alive. Yep, it is. It's not dead yet. How is it not dead yet? Oh, nice slash there. 
These enemies have way too much life in this game. Right, there's no one down there, but he doesn't know where I'm at because I don't have the light on. Oh, a save point. Fantastic. Music stands. I kept playing the instruments. It's a shame. You should probably learn one, Travis. Um... Iron weights. Play to be some instruments. And a save point. Alright. By the way, when it says I have X amount of saves, that number is actually inflated because whenever I quit a game, I always resave the game a second time before I actually stop playing just to make sure it's saved. Um So yeah. But I don't care, I'll save it a hundred times. <laughs> I mean, whenever I come across save point, I'm saving the game. Save Jan, I can't open the door. Okay. We need to go out to the catwalks now. I'm assuming we can go out to the catwalks. Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. Jammed. Okay, we can't go on the catwalk. A, B, C, and D. Okay, let's see if my math is right. Uh, D is going to be the 250 bulb. C is going to be the 725. Oh, I wrote 725. It's actually 750. It doesn't matter. That's not going to mess up my math any. Uh, it could, actually. Because if it's 750, then half of 750 is 375. So, no, it's not going to mess up my math. Uh, B is 125. And A is 500. So, even though I miswrote that down, I still think it's going to be correct. I hope. I hope. Okay. I take a blue's a good thing. Yep, all four lights are on. There's no point with me messing this anymore. And it looks like this stage is now open. Ah, I've got to turn off the lights. Ooh, there was a guy waiting for me right there. All right, let's see. DCBA, catwalk. Looks like I can open the door from this way. Man, the maps of this game are really, really well drawn out in terms of uh, going back and forth between rooms. All right, now it looks like I go straight here. Uh, the lighting box? No, I don't think I need mess with this. It's already on, right? Yeah, the lights are already on. I don't need to go here. I need to get back to the ground level, which is... Over here and to the right. Oh my goodness, I think dropped from the ceiling. I'm out of here. Uh, I'm not looking forward to playing this game through like four or five times to get all the endings. Oh, I do not want to play this area ever again. Something here. Some like look to the side. Oh, he's looking at the door. Never mind. Okay, from here, we need to go to. It looks like curtain control. So we go straight here. We run by this guy here. Run by that guy there. There should be a safe point in here.
Now I'm doing a pretty good job with uh, not dying though. Oh, 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 wait. I messed that up. Uh, we need to flip the switch, don't we? Sounds like the curtains come up. There we go. What the? That is the biggest mirror I've ever seen in my life. What in the world? Before you touch the mirror, let's explore the sides. What? Scenery and props? Does this determine, like, what mirror dimension I enter? Oh, that's cool. Uh, what I just do? There's nothing down here. This did something when I did this. Yeah, I don't know what that does, but it definitely did something. Let's mess with the other settings. To see if anything else happens. Okay, so 1-2 does something, and 3-1 does something. So the question is, do you want to enter the library or the forest? I want to enter the library, but since we already got the props up, we'll, we'll go with this first. Yeah, we'll go with this first. So we'll do 1-2 first. And then we'll do 3-1 next. So what a tree. Let's check the other side. Something's blocking it, okay. All right, well, let's see what this is all about. I have a map for this area. Uh, what is this? It's a key. Stage office. Is that are those? Is that are those hands on the tree? Oh, Jesus. Not appear. The aisle is full of noises, sounds, and sweet airs that give the light a curtain off. Sometimes a thousand clangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes voices that, if I then had waked after long sleep, will make me sleep again. And then, in dreaming, clouds me thought would open and show riches, ready to drop upon me that, when I waked, I cried to dream again. That scared the heck out of me. Alright, so we got the thing here. Now let's go to the other area, which is 3 1. And it looks like there may be something in 2, but we don't have this lever. So there may be something in 2-3, we just don't know what it is. A scenery backdrop, painted shelves, and books. I really love how this thing pops up. A wooden pop table, books and papers are printed on it.
The books are in a language I don't recognize. The letters are strange. The books are completely alien to me. Chapter two, oppression and coercion. It is fact well known that intelligence services and military agents, the more control the mind, the more a mind censors itself. The easier it is for outside influence to take hold and piggyback such mental programming. Programming. This is why these agencies chose for their pawns. This is why these agencies choose for their pawns those individuals most comprised by their own mental issues. What agencies? Amongst the tribes who have developed the ability to control and focus their projections, there exists one that fear is feared throughout the whole community. The shaman claims to have the ability to kill with thought alone, projecting his desire to kill into the body of the victim. Throughout these case studies, we see the victim's brain struggling to cope with the conflict caused by abuse at the hand of a loved one. In many of these cases, abuse child self appears to split in two. One personality continues to love the abuser and seeks their approval. The other personality contains all the rage and anger of the abuse and in many ways becomes mirror of the abuser, seeking to inflict the pain on others. Sally is often the self that becomes dominant. You know what's really interesting is I just watched a TV show that was very much like this. Uh, it's on Disney Plus. Um, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Something over here. Rifle ammo. Ampule. Chapter 3. Manifestations are de of delusions. Phenomena such as telekinesis, poltergeist to use a popular term, often occur. These seem frequent alongside negative emotions, fear, worry, or stress, suggesting it's these emotions which are manifesting as external energy with physical effects. Nightmares are especially strong triggers. In all cases, these phenomena arise from children or adolescents, and the overwhelming majority of subjects are female. Could I be talking about Alessa? I thought that would be talking about us. But they said female. Stop jerking. Alright, is there anything else in here? No. Alright, well, there's still a possibility that 2 3 could have something, by the way. We just don't have a, uh. We don't have a crank. Or a, uh, lever. Uh, stage office key. Where is the stage office key at? Stage office is. Uh, up top. It's actually not far. We just got to go back through here again. And who wants to bet we're going to get a lever in the stage office key. And the lever is going to have us come back here. And we're going to have to go through 2-3. Got the light. Uh, we need to go all the way to the top left. Okay, that's not the way to go. I thought I killed all the things in here. Yeah, I know I killed all the things in here. Why are you all back? That's unfair, game. Oh, that is so unfair. I destroyed all these things. And there's a lot of them. It's like four of them. Oh, and there's one in here too. Sing or die. Sing or die. Is my baton? Ow. Finally. Maybe I have to press RB to aim. 
Because I've been pressing, like, you know, just a regular attack. Pop control lever. Hey, how about that? I called it. I absolutely called that. Now I gotta somehow dodge everything on the way back. Those are just invoices, by the way. Um, all right, when you go this way, get some more energy back. Whoa, that, that, one, that guy was not there before. He wasn't there before. There were three puppets here last time. Yeah, these things. Oh, the way this game is messing my head is so unfair. Which way? Which way? Through the door. Quickly, through the door, through the door, through the door, through the door. Oh, this game keeps changing enemies. It is. Oh. All right, we know what we have to do here. We need to go to our items. And then we need to use 2-3. the look of that I don't like the look of that at all does anyone else feel like we're about to get into a boss fight what is this it's a some sort of costume suspended from the ceiling above it's made of musty smelling fur and rope is that Caliban are we gonna have to fight Caliban Caliban. You know, it'd be really freaky if our mirror self in the background was doing something different than what we were doing. Oh my lord, what the heck is that thing? And thankfully, this thing is a really fast loader and it fires a ton. What is this thing? I think I got it. You know, the bosses in this game aren't very difficult. It's everything else that's difficult. Falsehood piece. You need these, don't you? Yeah. She did the thing I can't do, which is kick him to kill him. So technically, she got the killing blow, right? What the... Y'all hear the sirens going on in the background? Okay. Motel key. Riverside Motel. What the heck? Oh. I think I've been there before. Dude, what is going on in your head? What is going on in your past? What is going on, period, with anything that's going on? I, I really, 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 really would like to know right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, um, target pistol. I'll go ahead and reload. Just out of ammo. They gave me just enough ammo. Wait, wait. Maybe you can't reload it if unless it's equipped. Nope, they gave me just enough ammo to fight that boss fight. Well, you know, thank you, game. I appreciate that. I, I really do. I 100% I, I do. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and use the save point here. And then um, I'm probably going to stop here for the day because my heart can only take so much. 
Ooh, but thankfully we are out of this nightmare zone. Although one thing I definitely want to do is I want to see where we're heading next. So let me um let me head outside. And uh okay, so we want to go to public records. Oh man. Riverside Motel is on the far southwest corner of the map. So what's the plan? The plan is to head to public records and then Andy's books and then cycle south through Canyon Street uh, and go west from Midway to the general store and then south the Riverside Motel. You never, you know, it's, you know, it's never that easy, right? It, it's, it's never that easy. But yeah, we're gonna have to find out together uh, next time. Uh, thank you so much for everything, my friends. My name is Lesbo. This is your story, Scare Jail, and this is me playing Let's. This is my Let's Play, Silent Hill Origins. Oh, for the PSP. Um, yeah, I like how the bottom it says, "Please come again." No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Oh boy. Uh, uh, I love you all so very much. Until next time. So long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.